I hereby call the September 9th City Council to order. Please stand and we'll salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Councilors, our esteemed colleague from Ward 2, Mr. Monahan, unfortunately, uh, is all under the weather, so he could not join us tonight. We have the acceptance of the minutes of August 26, 2019 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The reappointment of Daniel Campbell, 16 Belcher Avenue, Brockton, as a constable to the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to Finance Committee. We have a uh, communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation of Lawrence Siskid from the Brockton License Commission. That is accepted and placed on file. We have the appointment of Eugene S. Merrill of 128 Healy Terrace, Brockton, to the Brockton License Commission to fill the unexpired term of Lawrence Siskid. Mr. President. For, yes. Mr. President, uh, this appointee is very well known to us. He has served in a number of different positions. The License Commission is one of our most important boards, and I'd like to move suspension of the rules Second. and act on this tonight. There's a motion on the floor is properly seconded to take on the suspension. Please raise your hand if you want to take on the suspension. If you're opposed, we'll carry it and then act on it tonight. So we'll do a roll call vote, please. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The matter of the appointment is hereby approved, Councilors. I move reconsideration and hope it Second. does not prevail. Motion on the floor for reconsideration. Hope it doesn't prevail. It was seconded. All in favor of reconsideration, raise your hand. All opposed. Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. We have the hearing and the petition of Hector Sebleon, DBA, Traders Will, Brockton, LLC, 723 Belmont Street, Brockton, for transfer of secondhand articles license from 21 Tory Street. In City Clerk's Office, August 12, 2019. Work is comp on file, all paperwork on file. Here it is signed for September 9, 2019 at 7 p.m. Time having arrived, I'm gonna declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here on this matter, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Will the council, do we wanna maybe put this to the end of the agenda out of respect and Special courtesy, or what's the will of the council on this one? Let's Obviously, the applicant's not here. Yeah, let's put it in the agenda. I, I, either one, Mr. President. Eventually, I'm going to ask this go to public safety. There are some issues that I, I need okay. to have our legislative council look into regarding the petitioner. Councilors, why don't we do this since it's a public hearing and I did open it? Why don't we uh, take a moment to postpone it until the end of the agenda? And if the individual comes up, we'll be able to hear it at that make time. A motion to postpone the hearing. Second. 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 It's a motion to postpone it until the last agenda item this evening. All, uh, all in favor? All opposed? We'll postpone that. Number five until the end. And I suspect we'll be doing the same on number six. That's right. Councilor, um, once we read number six, if someone would entertain that as well. Petition of Hector Sebleon, DBA Traders Will, Brockton, LLC, 723 Belmont Street, for a transfer of secondhand precious metals and gems license from 21 Story Street, Brockton. In council, uh, strike that. In city clerk's office, August 12, 2019. Workers' comp on file, all paperwork on file. Hearing assigned for September 9, 2019. Time haven't arrived. Sorry, let, me, let me just open it at first. Time having arrived, I'm going to uh, hereby open. Uh, and, and is anyone here in favor? So please state your name for the clerk. Council Cruz, please. Motion to postpone until the end of the Second. meeting. Second. This motion on the floor is properly seconded to postpone agenda item number six until the end of the meeting. All in favor? All opposed. That motion carries. Both five and six will be uh, postponed to the end of tonight. Number seven, please. We have a report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of August 21st, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of September 3rd, 2019. That too. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Chief Financial Officer requested that the City Council authorize the payment of $43,494.98 from fiscal 20 finance purchase of services to Rehoboth Solar for the billing period of May 28, 2019 through June 25, 2019. Money was encumbered at the end of the fiscal 19 
but the final bill was more than the anticipated amount. Accepted a place to file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That to accept and place on file. A communication from the CFO relative to the That same. also is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the law department requested that the city council authorize a transfer in the amount of $433,324 from law department purchase of services to law department personnel services other than overtime. This transfer is necessary due to an error made at the budget hearings of fiscal 20 budgets. Accept and place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That to accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That also is accepted and placed on file. We have an order amending licensing and business regulations for marijuana business, section 1.009B2 of the licensing and business regulations is hereby amended. In council March 11th, 2019, read and refer to the standing committee on ordinance. That report was favorable. In council August 26, 2019, passed to a third reading by a hand vote. Question is on ordination by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? No. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's nine in the affirmative, one in the opposition. The order is hereby ordained. <laughs> An order of many revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 6, Article 1, Section 6 2, Composition. The, chap <coughs> the Chapter 6, Article 1, Section 6 2, the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be amended to increase the number of fire department captains by one from 17 to 18 for a limited period of time subject to a sunset clause. In council June 24th, 2019, read and referred to standing committee on ordinance, that report was favorable. In council August 26, 2019, passed with third reading by a hand vote. Council, the questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order, the order is hereby ordained. Council Cruz, please. Make a motion for reconsideration in the hopes it does not second. prevail. Second. This motion on the floor was properly second reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. If you're in favor of reconsideration, kindly raise your hand. If you're opposed, raise your hand. Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. The zoning request change from industrial to commercial for the properties map of East Ashland Street. Previously voted on by the planning board and forwarded to the city clerk and city council. The proposed amendment that the following parcels be included in the proposed change 161 094, 161 096, 161 097, 161 097R, 161 098, and 161 113. The addition of these properties will protect the existing residential zones from the possibility of any future expanded industrial uses. Postpone until August 21st, 2019, and public hearing assigned for August 21st, 2019, on its committee meeting. In council June 24th, 2019, read and referred to standing committee at ordinance. That report was favorable. Causes council August sorry. 26, 2019, passed with third reading by a hand vote. Question is on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. By a hand vote, sorry. <laughs> it passes to a third reading, councils. An order is amending the revised ordinances, Chapter 2, Article 1, Section 2 9, relative to the Executive Director of the Elections Commission, postponed until August 21st, 2019, Audience Committee meeting, unfavorable. And Council June 24, 2019, ready to refer to Standing Committee and Audience. That report was unfavorable. Causes the question is on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. If you're in favor of passing a third reading, please raise your hand. I'm sorry, just if you could put up high, just so the clerk can read. Okay, we have two. Okay. okay. Does not pass to a third reading, councils. An order so many Chapter 2, Division 5, Section 2 183 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton. Section 2 183 of Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances mm. is hereby amended 
Plan City Subsection C as follows. Section C, the city solicitor shall provide to the city council copies of all documents which would otherwise be available to the public and which are related to any civil or other legal action wherein the city, its officers, agents, or departments are named as a defendant or respondent or where the city is a plaintiff. For the purposes of this section, public is defined as those documents which are received by the city or filed by the city and which are deemed public pursuant to applicable court rules, regulations, or laws. The solicitor shall provide such copies within 14 days of the date of filing of said documents. Annually, no later than April 1st, and thereafter, the city solicitor shall provide the city council a quarterly report of pending legal actions and the status of that litigation. In council, May 28, 2019, Reading refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinances. That report was favorable as amended. Councilors, we first have the questions on the amendment. If you're in favor of the amendment, raise your hand. If you're opposed to the amendment, raise your hand. The amendment passes. Now the question is on a passage to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. Okay, it passes to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. Thank you. Ordered pursuant to Article 2, Section 2-93 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton. It is referred to the Ordinance Committee the responsibility to undertake a review of the covered salary for all positions governed by the ordinances of the city, as well as a proposed creation of any new position. Provided further, the Ordinance Committee shall present any recommended amendments to the ordinance governing positions and salary levels to the City Council for review and approval. Relative to the salary of Director of Human Resources and the creation of the position of Assistant Director of Human Resources. In Council, May 13, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable to generate report of audits uh, committee relative to salaries. Council's questions on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. It passes to a third reading by a hand vote. Re Thank you, Councils. Reappointment of Joe Miranda of 19 Wallace Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Community Cable Television Board for a three year term. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Reappointment is hereby confirmed. The reappointment of Kenneth Galligan of 25 Messina Drive, Brockton, to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three year term. End Council, August 26. Read and referred to the com Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Council's questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Monaghan? Oh, excuse me. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Reappointment is hereby confirmed. Audit, acceptance, and expenditures of grant funds in the amount of $200,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection GAP-2 Grant Funding Program to City of Brockton Department of Public Works GAP-2 Grant Funding Program Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready and refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order, acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $365,586 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911 Department, Fiscal 2020 Public Safety Answering Point and Regional Emergency Communication Center Support added set of grants to the Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020 Public Safety Answering Point and Regional Emergency Communication Center Support and Initiative Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready and refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Council's questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. The 
DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Acceptance and expenditures of the total grant fund is in the amount of $275,110.27 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911 Department, Fiscal 20 State 911 Training Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 20 State 911 Training Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2019, Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, can I read the roll? ASEC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Ordered acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $430,000 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services Fiscal 20 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to Brockton Police Department Fiscal 2020 Fiscal 20 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order and acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds and the amount of $300,000 from the Environmental Protection Agency Brownfield Assessment Grant to City of Brockton Planning and Economic Development Brownfield Assessment Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Thompson's questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the approval of the proposed Housing Development Incentive Program Tax Increment Exemption Agreement for 93 Center Street between the City and 93 Center Street LLC. In Council, July 22, 2019. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASEC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is hereby adopted. Mr. Chairman, President, I move for reconsideration. Second. I hope this does not prevail. It's a motion that was properly second reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, kindly raise your hand. All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. Order that the City Council authorize the approval of the proposed Housing Development Center Program, HDIP, Tax Increment Exemption Agreement, TIE, for 127 Center Street between the City and 127 Center Quarter, LLC. In Council, August 26, 2019. Ready for the Standing Committee. On finance, that report was favorable. Constance questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? No. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative, one in opposition. The order is hereby adopted. Mr. President, move for reconsideration. Second. Second. Does not prevail. Motion made was probably said. Uh, reconsideration hopes it doesn't prevail. If you're in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. If you're opposed, raise your hand. It does not prevail. Okay. Orders ordered for the city to seek authorization for the acceptance of streets in the city of Brockton. Purpose, common convenience, and necessity requires acceptance of streets in the city of Brockton as public ways for purposes of public access, repairs, snow removal, emergency vehicle access, maintenance, and care of all roads in the city of Brockton. That is referred to finance and planning. I have an order authorizing of the payment of $43,494.98 from fiscal 20 finance purchase of services to reopen solar for the billing period of May 28, 2019 through June 25, 2019. Refer to finance, please. 
ordered to transfer in the amount of $433,324 from the Law Department Purchase of Services to Law Department Personal Services other than overtime. That is referred to finance. Councilors, we need to go back to number five and number six, the two public hearings. I don't believe the individual's here. Is anyone here in the chamber here for five or six? Mm -hmm. What's the will of the council relative to these matters? It's a, I open up the hearing. Do we want to continue to a date certain? Mr. President, through you uh, to Councilor Ian Erie, uh, Chair of Public Safety, uh, would, would he have an objection if these two matters were referred to Public Safety for further discussion and information from our Legislative Council? Probably refer them to Public Safety and then have them come back, I would think. I'm sorry, Council, I didn't hear you. Send it to Public Safety. If we're going to send it just for a procedural standpoint, since we open the hearing, we would have to close the hearing and then send it to a subcommittee. Right. Is that the will of the Council? You need a motion for that? Make a motion to close the hearing? Second. Second. It's a motion made. It was properly seconded uh, to close the hearing for agenda item number five as well as number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. And now, okay, all in favor of, uh, of closing the hearing on number five, please raise your hand. If you're opposed to closing, raise your hand. Okay, and number six, in favor of closing the hearing, please raise your hand. If you're opposed, raise your hand. Both of those matters are closed. Public hearing is closed. The will of the council, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fowell, please. Uh, does Councilor Ian Erie have an objection to sending these to public safety? Or? No, not at all, no. We'll send them. Uh, move to send to public safety. Both five and six. six collectively. It's motion on the floor to take uh, number five and number six collectively and send both of those agenda items to public safety. Uh, it was properly second. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, uh, please note five and six have been sent to public safety. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Councilor Cruz, please. Just, I'd make a recommendation or a request that when we send notification to the, that it be re, return receipt or something, clearly the person either didn't hear or didn't read his mail, didn't think it was important to come. Just before we have, if we have a meeting, we want to make sure he's aware of it and that he shows up. We can't claim later that he didn't know about it. We seem to run into those in some of the, mm -hmm. some of those hearings when they don't think they need to come. Mm -hmm. So I make a request that just be uh, whatever's best, return receipt or some kind of registered mail. What's the process, Mr. Clerk? How do we do it now? Regular Robin, are you doing, mail? you're doing certified return and one. No, we actually have to send that notice to the abutters. So it is. Send everything out to the abutters. We, we sent out to the abutters and the individuals concerned have to send out to the abutters and that's certified by, so, the, so by the people. That so are my there. question is they should have been here. I mean, they, they shouldn't have not known tonight. They well, should, no, they should know that there was a meeting. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Um, Councilors, I, I think I stated last week, and I'm just going to reiterate it because I, I think it makes sense, past practice. Um, next Tuesday, which is September 17th, is Election Day, preliminary Election Day here in the city of Brockton. Um, and typically what we do is the Finance Committee, the Monday night, we will not hold it. Um, I know there's a, quite a few of us that are candidates, and I'm going to honor the past practice. So next Monday night, we will not have a Finance Committee meeting, okay? So please duly note that. However, if there's a need at a later date this month for a finance, mm -hmm. we will call it. I don't believe there's a, a lot of pressing issues on that, but please note, next Monday night, we will not be meeting as a finance committee, okay? Mm -hmm. Anything else, Councilor Azak, please? A moment of personal privilege. Absolutely, Councilor. I would just like to remind everybody that Brockton's very own annual Greek festival is coming up um, mm -hmm. at the Annunciation Greek Church at 457, 457 Oak Street, Thursday, September 19th through Sunday, September 22nd. It's one of the um, best events in the year and it's in Ward 7 and the church does a great job to get everybody together to enjoy the uh, Greek culture. And then um, save the date for the following weekend, which is September 27th through the 29th. That is the Lebanese Festival at St. Teresa's Church um, on North Main Street. So hope to see everybody there. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Borgard, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege. We have two things happening here. Uh, everyone is getting prepared for the Shoe City Festival event on October 5th. <coughs> and they're looking for shoes. Okay, the shoe lady is Andrea Burton, 
and you may drop off shoes all sizes. Um, if there's only one, they're not a pair. Um, any kind of shoe, you know, fancy, uh, regular, worn out, etc., to be part of this festival event, 8:30 to 4:30 Monday through Friday, in the mayor's office. She's the director of community relations and for the city of Brockton, and she can be also reached at 508-897-6813. This should be quite the event, and they're going to be doing all kinds of craft projects with the shoes. The date, the date. And um, yeah, the again, date the they're, they're collecting all this for the end of September, okay, because the festival itself will be the beginning of October. And uh, Veterans Expo is an annual event, and it will be taking place this year on September 21st at the VA Hospital Broughton Campus, 10 to 2, and this is a great time, and all of this is free, by the way, and cookout live music, it lets people know about jobs and career openings, and it also lets people know about veterans benefits and other opportunities and uh, for veterans and families. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Castro, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening. A moment of personal privilege. Absolutely, Councilor. I'd just like to take a quick moment to commend the members of the Brockton Democratic City Committee on a fabulous Jean and Paul Sullivan Memorial Breakfast held yesterday at the, the VFW Post on North Quincy Street. It was so well attended. I mean, literally, the room was filled to bursting, and we were beyond proud to uh, have as our keynote speaker United States Senator Edward Markey. So I want to congratulate the chairman of the city committee, Deborah Garland. She worked very hard to have this happen. And who worked as hard were the co-chairs of the event, Sue and Jeffrey Hayes. Thank you. Thank you, Council. And, and uh, on behalf of the Council, we want to thank you for your endeavors on that to make it a success, success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anything else? Council is um, going forward. Uh, we want to adhere to Robert's rules, so technically we're not going to call these moments of personal privilege anymore. Okay. Um, it's been vetted out by the city clerk and our legislative council, so we can call it a council's recognition. Um, and it's information sharing of the council. It could be meetings, it could be birthdays, you know, whatever. So again, we're not going to call these moment of personal privilege. We'll just call it council's recognition, okay? Anything else before us tonight? I wish, I wish you a good e uh, evening. Adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.